Hey everyone, I want to talk about subtraction with integers using counters. I know there's lots of great integer videos out there on YouTube, but um, this one I had a hard time finding, so I'm just going to make it myself. We'll see what happens, okay? So first thing, all, we need to remember that we need to remember that blue, cold, negative one, red, positive, uh, hot, positive one. So sometimes we're going to have to be asked to show using counters how to do integer subtraction. So here's what we do. We look at the expression that's given to us. For example, and we have to figure out what we're really, what it's going to equal here. So the first thing we need to do is say, well, if we're going to start with, I'm going to use my counters. If we're going to start with negative 3, that's our starting point. That's our starting point. But we have to subtract a negative 4. The problem is, we don't have negative 4 to begin with. We don't have negative 4 chips to begin with at all. So it's impossible for us to subtract negative 4. We'd have to take away 4 blue ones, but we don't have 4 blue ones yet. So what we need to do is express the number negative 3 in a different way. Now remember, negative 1 plus positive 1 are opposites. Together, they cancel out. To zero. They cancel out to zero. So what we can do is say that negative three can be written like this. Now I use five counters to show, sorry, can be shown like this. I use five counters to show negative three. These ones cancel out to zero. So really I still have negative three. However, now it's possible for me to subtract negative four. The action that I'm required to take here, subtract a negative 4, I can now do this from this stuff on the board. All I have to do is take away these four chips. This is a negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Together, negative 4. What do I have? What do I have left? Positive 1. I'm going to show you another example right away. Alright, so let's try this example here. Positive 3, subtract negative 5. Intuitively, we already know that we should be going positive because a negative and a negative is an even number of negatives, and that means that we end up reversing ourselves twice, which means we still go up the same way. So let's show it with counters. Positive 3, that's what I start with. But here's my action. This is my action here, again. But I need to take away five blue counters, but blue counters, oops, but blue counters don't yet exist on with what I'm starting with. So I'm going to re-show, I'm going to show positive three in a new way that has five blue counters. Here's what I'm going to do. Positive three, if I put this together, these two equal zero. These two together equal zero. These equal zero, when combined, of course. These equal zero, and these equal zero. So I can say the positive three could be written like just this, or it could be written like all of this, because all of this here is just a big fat zero. So why did I do this? Because I wanted to show positive three in a way, with counters, that negative 5, or 5 of these little blue chips, would be shown. Because now, I can actually complete the action that's required. The action that's required is to get rid of 5 of these guys. So here's what I'm going to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Gone. So I've completed the action now. All that I have to figure out what's left is to count these up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What's red? Red is positive. My answer, therefore, is plus 8. And now this is shown using counters. When I, when I got introduced to this stuff, my mind was blown. But it took a little bit of practice, a little bit of thinking. So relax, and you guys can do it too. Just that easy.